<laughs> on a day where the potential for severe weather will be upon us. It's going to be one of those days where now casting is going to be quite important and we're already seeing signs of that. Talked about those showers, southern Nassau County now moving in toward Suffolk County, but let's zoom right on into the cell right here. Sussex County, we're starting to see a strong updraft develop, and that could lead to some intensity there. West Milford, this is the timeline just before 7 o'clock, 7.15 Eagle Valley this morning. This is showing signs of some pretty strong updrafts that can lead to some downdrafts and the potential for severe weather expected later on today as well. So we're already starting to see some action happening across New Jersey in toward the Hudson Valley. We're going to keep a close eye on that. We're at a big deficit, so we do need the rain. We did get a little bit of it in New Jersey, but we can't really get anything and at Central Park. The city was pretty dry for the most part. We're still within the top five driest Junes on record so far. Just enough rain will knock us out of the top five spots. So convective outlook, slight risk highlighted in your yellow, more enhanced. So this is where we're going to see the most intensity based on what we're seeing on our models. South Central New Jersey, high risk, but we're certainly not exempt across the entire tri-state. Excessive race, rainfall amounts also on the table. Highest risk highlighted in your yellow. So if you're in New Jersey as well as the Hudson Valley, heightened risk there. Now we're starting to see some updates here. This is what it looks like around the 9 o'clock hour. Some strong cells moving in across Morris County, uh, parts of Long Island as well, eastern end of Long Island. And then it does start to fire up again around noontime. Remember I was saying, well, if you want to head to the beach around noon is okay. Oh, scratch that. I would say just stay inside if you can. That's the best thing to do. There will be big breaks of sunshine, but there will also be some heavy downpours. The sunshine will add to that instability, and it's going to really set the stage for that strong squall line to come through. That could be accompanied by heavy downpours, which can lead to flash flooding, a lot of rain in a short amount of time. That's what we anticipate. And there could even be some rumbles of thunder. Uh, strong winds could lead to damaging winds and uh, possible tornadoes. So there it is. It's lighting up all right, and it stays pretty intense and due to wrap up at around midnight or so. There's a look at your seven day forecast, something we're going to continue to comb through the warm. The mugginess will stay with us more severe weather threat tomorrow. We're going to talk about that as well. Let's talk traffic. Hey there, Alex.